Master painter Milfred Sorens was born on January 25th, 1908. And because I was born on January 27th, I used to tease him saying that he was just two days older than I was. I had the privilege of knowing Milfred Sorens for many years and of interviewing him also for years for several books that I brought to print on his approach to artwork and uh, his approach to creativity and life in general. It was a wonderful experience and it changed the way I approached my own creative endeavors. One day when I was interviewing Milford, I looked down and to my horror, my tape recorders were not working. The little counters weren't going around. And I asked him, please repeat what you just said because I lost it. I don't have it recorded. I expected him to repeat verbatim what he had just said, which he was perfectly capable of doing and had done before. He had done so much teaching, he just knew the material. But instead, he launched into a whole treatise on trees, their shape, their meaning, the way he approached them. And while he was talking, I could see in my mind the pictures that we'd already started collecting for the big book that we were going to do on his artwork. And I was seeing another book. I said, it has, I have to go home and make this into a little book. So transcribed all the tapes, gathered the pictures together, and the result was Book of Trees. It's one of my favorite books. It has pictures of trees juxtaposed with what he said charming presentation of his material. Here's a, a couple examples. This is one of the early pictures that he did, earliest pictures of trees that he did. And here's one of the ones when he was suffering from macular degeneration and had lost his ability to see details. But you can see how dynamic it is. He actually felt that it had created, um, had made him more creative in his painting, he said he, it made him a better painter, which I felt, because I have visual problems too, was uh, very encouraging to hear from someone who had lost so much and was making his living as a professional artist. So I wanted just to show you the way that this book is, is created. The pages are hand punched with this little template, just two pages at a time, click, 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 and two pages at a time because the pages are thick and it's uh, hard on the hands. And then this is stab binding, it's a Japanese book binding technique that I researched and implemented. I've always wanted to make books. And here I get to do one with this wonderful artwork in it and the truth that's in it. Milford said, you look at the subject matter until you get the truth of the matter. And then you draw the line that says palm tree. I love that because he let the subject tell him what it was. He didn't impose himself on the subject. And that changed the way I approached my own artwork whether it's a painting or a book that I'm writing. You let it tell you its own truth, and then you distill it, and you draw your line that shows your interpretation of that truth. It's a wonderful artistic concept. So, in honor of Milford's birthday, I wanted to tell you the story behind Book of Trees and to share the experience of how it came about.